Hello, sunshine. This is Joy from Michigan in the U.S. And I think, unlike my last video, I think you can see the whole canvas from one end to the other. Here's one end. I think so. <laughs> I tried anyways. I really tried to make sure you guys could see the whole thing. So this last week I had mentioned was going to be kind of chaotic. And as I expected, it was a bit chaotic, but we got through it. We had some challenging days and some challenging events as well as some wonderful ones. So I am going, going to try really hard to get into my art room as often as I can, but we have a brand new puppy in our home. She's wonderful. We love her and she's so full of energy <laughs> and needs attention a lot. So I will do what I can to get out here, but no promises. So today I'm going to do a Cause Creations inspired swipe. If you haven't seen her channel, check it out. Cause Creations, C-O-Z. She's just wonderful, positive, makes beautiful art. She gets beautiful swipes with lots and lots of cells, but she doesn't use silicone. Um, metallics will create a lot of that for you. So that's the kind of the look I'm going for. I have all metallics today. I did pull out a couple of reds that I had mixed up from a previous pour. I'm not positive I'll use those, but they're there if I want them. So I will be using black as my background color. I've got one non-metallic and that's white. I'm not sure if I'll use that or not. Then I've got copper. I've got Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24K Gold. I've got rose gold and I've got this pearl, which has been very difficult to find, but I like, and I'm not really sure. I think this was mixed with my other pouring medium for a different technique. So we'll see how that interacts could get interesting. And silver. I'm going to start with silver. We're just going to do a swipe right across the middle. Well, that was a very crooked line, wasn't it? Let's see if we can fill that part in. I'm not going to worry about a crooked line. For sure, not going to worry. All right, let's throw some copper on there. I think we might need some white just to kind of show off the metallics to have them pop a little more. So we'll see. Let's put some of this pearl in there. Oh goodness. That started coming out of the bottle before I even, or almost before I had it open. I think it needs to be shaken up a bit. That looks kind of watery to me. These do have a tendency, especially if they're not mixed with a pouring medium, but even if they are, they have a tendency to kind of separate, so make sure you give them a really good shake before you go to use them. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks better. It was just a little bit oily. Oh, I think I may have, I may have a goober, guys. There we go. So I always keep a little skewer handy for goobers for Manipulating the paint if it needs it. I still think we ended up with one we did. Look at that. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. And I'm wearing gloves today uh, because I really, really don't like black paint all over my hands. So I'm going to try to take some of this extra white up right here. Just pick up what we can. And I know there's bare canvas there, but I'm not going to worry. That'll fill in. Okay, let's get some of this gold on here. And I'm just gonna take some of my black. I always have some of the, or I try to always have some of the background color just set aside, just for stuff like that right there. And I actually, my background color mixed up a lot more than I expected it to, so I have a lot of black. All right, I'm going to keep layering. Um, I'm really not sure what color I want next, but I do want there to be a fair amount of color on this. I think I am going to throw in just some of this titanium white, just to see, see what it does. And I can't decide. I don't think I'm going to do any red. I felt like I needed something more festive, but maybe I don't. So 
This is perhaps the sloppiest way to throw paint on a canvas that I've ever done before in my life, but hopefully it'll come out pretty. And I didn't throw any rose gold in there yet, so let's throw some of that on. Super sheeny shiny this rose gold is. All right, that should be more than enough paint. So I've got different pieces of size pieces of paper towel cut up for wet paper towel. And I'm going to start with some of my bigger ones. That's all this is, just wet paper towel. Easy peasy. Hopefully it comes out gorgeous. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe in this crazy, crazy time we have. Well, that missed a spot, but that's okay. So I will go back in. I have a nice little one that I'm actually going to rip in half because they're a little too long for me. And we will just fix that spot. Good. The other half of that to do this other spot that missed. You know, I don't know. Some people like the little lines it can leave, but I do not. I'm getting no cells. The metallic is very pretty, but there are no cells. So I do find I kind of try to pull this apart so any wrinkles that are in that come out and it picks up paint all the way across, unlike it did on the last one. So I will add some pictures either before this video or at the end of it of the puppy so you guys can see her. Her name is Shiloh. She will be a service dog for my daughter eventually when she's done with all of her training. If you've watched my videos for very long, you may remember that we had another dog named Dreamer. She unfortunately was career changed and rehomed, so she is no longer in our home. She just wasn't quite catching on to everything a service dog needed to do, so. All right. So we're hoping for better luck with Shiloh so far. She's been a really great puppy. She's very happy and eager to learn and eager to please, and that makes it a little bit easier to train them. I think I cut enough big pieces. This is my last one, so I may have to take a minute here and cut a few more pieces. I do have lots of smaller pieces too, so I can do that as well. Oh goodness, they're sticking together. Okay. I'm not loving this one, guys. I don't know. I'm not far enough in it really to decide if I love it or not. I am getting some pretty lacing over here though. That's kind of nice. Oh, I accidentally ripped that where I didn't mean to. That's okay. I'll just use the other end. I lost my gold, which is so funny because that gold really likes to take over. So it's kind of funny that it disappeared on this one. All right. I almost feel like maybe I just want to add a little bit of gold to a couple of these places and then swipe with that. Let's see. See if we can come up with something really pretty. Oh, well, that did an interesting thing. 
kind of left it all clumped over there. Let's try swiping that same spot again. There we go. We still lost our gold though. Okay. So this is a fun technique because it doesn't take a ton of paint and you can really take your time with it. It turns out different every time. And it's just really interesting to look at. At least I think so. And swipes, I think, as far as I'm concerned, swipes are pretty forgiving. So if you make a mistake, you can go back over it until it looks more like what you want it to. So that's always a plus. And I still missed part. How did I do that? All right, so I'm gonna rip off the teeniest little piece here because I really don't wanna swipe too much in that same spot. And we're just gonna get this spot right here. There. Handy if you have a trash can right close to you so you can drop these things into the trash and you don't have wet paint covered paper. Oh, that did not work. Let's try that again. There's some of that gold peeking through finally. This is interesting. Not sure what I think of it for sure. All right, I'm going to hit it with some heat. Drop any air bubbles we have. It's cold again in my art room, even with the even with the heater going. It's a little on the chilly side. to add gold in places. We got a lot of white, we got a lot of copper and rose gold, which I love, but I think I just want to hit it with just a little bit of gold. So let's try that. Maybe right there. How about right here? And then we'll go up on this side with it. Right here, let's break this up. So this is what I was talking about when I said it's forgiving. I can go back through and do a secondary swipe on top of what's already there. And if I don't like that, I can go back through again. So it's just a fun, it's a fun way to kind of experiment with paint colors and decide what you like and what you don't like. I feel like I have canvas showing through over here. Maybe I'll swipe this one up. I was going to go down, but I think we might need to go this way. Okay. Oh, well, I threw that one on the floor, guys. Oh. All right. I really like the gold here, so let's see if we can get something similar on this side. I don't need that big of a piece. Let's go with something just a little bit smaller. Trying to give that gold a second to kind of adhere to my paper towel before I swipe too much. All right, I'm gonna try this one. Let's try this one up. Touch of gold here and there. This one, let's go up. 
Again, I'm pulling my paper towel just to straighten it and keep it as straight as I can. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Let's see. I probably could do a smaller piece. I'm almost out of paper towel, guys. Let's bring this section down and then we'll do the next section up. So I want to say hi to all my new subscribers. You guys made me so happy. I hadn't been able to get on in quite a while and I looked and all of a sudden I had all these new people. So welcome to my channel. I'm glad to have you. This is my art therapy journey for the most part. All right, guys, I'm going to hit this with heat one more time. People don't worry about their edges I like to work on my edges just because I want my client to have the choice of hanging this with or without a frame and if your edges aren't done then doing it without a frame doesn't look as nice so that's my two cents on that take it or leave it I'm not offended either way everybody's got their own opinion on that and that is absolutely fine it makes the art world more interesting than when we don't see everything the same way what a boring world it would be if we were all the same all right i'm debating whether or not i add little bits of black oh i wish i could hear you guys telling me what to do all right i'm gonna sit on this for just a minute i'll pause my video I'll take you into like some of the lacing down here is so delicate and my only concern is when it dries will you even be able to see that over here it's a little more visible right here there's some pretty stuff but some of this is so delicate it may just disappear but we'll see i will take you down for a close-up and then uh stay tuned there might be more or i might say we're done Alright guys, I'm back with you. If you liked it already, you might not want to watch the rest of this video. I think it needs just a little bit of black to break up some of the colors we have going on. So I'm just going to here and there, kind of like I did with the gold. I don't want to do too much, but just a little something. And then I will swipe that through. There's just some parts where I feel like it really could use some help. All right, we'll start with that. And it gives us a few throughout so we can decide if we like it or not. So this one's going to go down. I don't think I probably do this with half of this. Keep my scissors nice and handy so I can cut. I have tried to rip this wet paper towel and you can do it, uh, but it rips very unevenly and I just don't like the results I get. So do a little experiment and see what you think. All 
And adding the black, I'm expecting that the black will add some cells as well. So we're gonna go up over on this one. So next one we're going to go down. All right. I need a bigger piece. Oh, my paper towel is starting to dry a little. Let's see if this one's more wet. I hung them on the back of my chair thinking, oh, that's the perfect spot. They'll not get stuck to each other, but... It will dry. <laughs> Didn't think that part through. All right, so this one we're going to go up. I think we need a little bit more down here too. I'm going to try two real small spots. One right here. It's just a drip. And then I think let's do here, but I think I will also add, let's add a little bit of gold. And a little bit of copper. Let's see what we get. I love the copper, it's a very deep tone. The rose gold is lovely, but it's just not as deep of a color. So I'm going to swipe this multicolored one first and see what we get. I probably should have done this without talking because then I could have put it in quicker speed. But hopefully it's not too boring for y'all. So if you're new to my channel, something else I would just love to know is where are you watching? Where do you come from? Um, I have some viewers from Australia. I have some in Pennsylvania. I just, I think it's really cool to know where my viewers are. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to tilt that. It's a little too heavy for me to control, then I'm gonna drop it. So I think I'm going to add some thin black lines kind of just there. I'm trying to think the best way to do it. So I can do it with my squirt bottle, but then it tends to get a little thick. So let me see if I can do it with, a, with the end of a skewer, not the pointy end, but the other end. We'll just try it and see. Kind of like that. I am wiping it off every time just because you don't want to have too much color on the end of your stick and then go to do the next spot and have it not look great. So I'm wiping it and then going back in to kind of elongate it a little. Give it a little curve if I need it. You can even pull it up, which this is not working real well pulling it up. So I'm just going to add a little to kind of give you a little division between swipes. If you like that, if you don't, then skip this part.
it just gives it just a little bit more interest. I think it pulls your pulls you in just a little bit more, which is what I want. So I'm going to keep adding my little bits of black. I do kind of want somewhat of a smooth line. So I've been doing much more brush painting lately because I don't have to get nearly as many supplies out for that. So I can do that quicker than a pour and then my puppy doesn't get nearly as lonely waiting for me to finish a painting. So. All right, I'm almost done, guys. I'm going to add some down at this other end, right through here. And hopefully my camera's still cooperating and you can see the whole canvas and not just part of it. If you have questions about anything feel free to leave that in the comments I do check those I love to hear from people if you have suggestions I've had some really fantastic suggestions come through as comments on my videos to help me with my next experiment so I love to hear from anyone tips tricks questions ideas if you have a channel let me know I'll check it out I try to promote as many artists as I can. I think it's important that we fill our world with art right now, especially. If I have a technique that I feel like I've learned from watching YouTube videos, I always try to give that artist credit as well, whether they knew they were inspiring me or not. All right, guys, I'm almost done. I just, I just want these to be a little more fluid. I don't want it to look like just a chunky line sitting there, so we'll just add some little details. And then I'll probably hit it with heat one more time, and then we'll call it good, and I will go get my puppy up. Alright guys, I have one section that I'm not thrilled with and that's this line here where I kind of got a little bit muddy with my black. So that wasn't, just wasn't making me happy. It's like a little magic eraser, you just put a little black on your skewer stick and cover up, cover up any little mistakes you see. Unless they're happy mistakes and then we leave them. All right, guys, I think this one is done. Let me know what you think. This is a super fun technique. If you give it a try, let me know. I'd love to see your creations or hear about them, even if I can't see them. I'm going to hit it with heat one more time. Still popping air bubbles every time. It's just chilly out here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I will give you one more close-up, post some photos at the end, watch for pictures of the puppy. And I will see you on the next one, which I can't promise how soon that'll be because of, of the demands of a new puppy. But as soon as I can get out in my art room, I'll try to make another video and post it for y'all. Thank you so much. And if I don't see you before then, have a very Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye.